Sophie. What? What the fuck? That was for my cousin. What? What's wrong? What's wrong with our honeymoon's photo? Oh, you know, this frame is more valuable to me than our photos, and you know why? I can reuse it. So you're gonna throw your memories away? <laughs> Look at you! You're throwing your life away. You think this makes me happy to see you do this? Do you think that is why I came all the way out here? Christ, where have you put it? This place is a cesspit. Do you still think that I'm the only responsible for this? You knew what we were facing here when we came here, right? Oh, for the love of God, give oh. it a rest. I have had it up to here with your bitching and complaining. You never told me it was your grand plan to come here and turn into a drunk. The oh. truth is that you don't even understand that sometimes a man has to deal with... What? You know, some difficulties because... Oh Christ, articulate yourself! He needs some kind of... What? Human warmth. <laughs> but you, you don't even know what that means, do you? Oh, I know well enough. I know, I know that you should have stayed in that dreary Guilford office. If you'd done that, you'd have been free to spend your evenings whinging and dining with those retards you call mates. Oh, that's a nice thing to say about our friends. Uh, friends. I found what I'm looking for. Here's a souvenir for you. Just in case I'm ever tempted to come back. Japanese consulate and pick up our visas? Yes. Okay. How about a TV license? Did you cancel? TV cancel license. our TV license? Oh, yeah, this morning. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, this morning. Good. And the very last thing was quite important hmm. for Friday morning. You were going to book our shots at the health clinic, remember? I'm so sorry. Uh, James. I forgot. Yeah, no, I forgot. Okay. I forgive you because we can book those online. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh perfect, perfect. That's fine. So you're off the hook. So you can enjoy a drink? Cheers. James, how are you, buddy? Hey you Tony, okay? how's it going? You're yeah. looking well. Oh, you're thanks, mate. You're gonna make so much money, you won't have time to spend it all. Uh, you won't have time to spend it all, mate. So Tony. So, so, yeah. Tony, hi. So, how are you? Hi. You're looking well. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. I really this guy. To, I really want to ask you something. Yes. Yeah, it was about. Remember, I was wanting to know about childcare yeah. facilities. Yeah. Um, creches. Yeah, yeah. You sorted. Were gonna... It's all sorted. Everything's on track. Sorry, I got a dash. Okay, but we'll catch up later. Tokyo man. Tokyo. Hey, Tony. Take care. No, it's really take care. Take Hey Henry, how's it going, mate? Good to see you, mate. Yeah. Good to see you. Henry, great to see you. Yeah. You too, mate. I owe you so much. You know that. I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing now if it wasn't for you. Yeah. It's all you right. know, I tell you what, mate. I'm gonna repay you back for what you did for me with interest. Come on, Henry. It's okay. Yeah. You're my friend. You're my friend. Oh, you have such a great life out there. Yeah. 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 Oh I yeah. Tell you this, I have yeah. a thirst for Tokyo. Oh right yeah. Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
An earthquake with a magnitude of 5.8 shook the city. The biggest reason was that too many people in the government and Democratic Party wanted Ishikawa to take responsibility for... There's a...
大丈夫ですか？大丈夫ですか？大丈夫ですか？え、救急車、救急車よ。電話ある？電話。あ、ったあった。いる？うん。大丈夫ですか？すいません、今外人の人が倒れてるんですけど、えっと無限大丈夫ですか？息は息は多分してます。はい、心臓も動いてます。大丈夫です。はい、今すぐお願いします。お願いします。大丈夫ですか？大丈夫ですか？大丈夫ですか？大丈夫ですか？大丈夫ですか？Gina Landor, the hospital's neurobiologist. Aside from your name and your EEG, Mr. Hallway, we can't say we know very much about you. I mean to say that we need more data about your identity and your anamnesis in order to produce a better diagnosis of your syndrome, Mr. Hallway. Ah, uh, sorry, Miss. Call me Dr. Landor. Okay, Dr. Landor. I didn't understand a single word of what you said. All I want to know is if I can go. Theoretically, you're free to leave this hospital whenever you want, Mr. Hallway. Great, so since I'm just wasting your Please time. Please take a seat, Mr. Hallway. But you told me that I can go. You were found unconscious on Sentagai on January 26th. After the students who watched you collapse uh, called an ambulance, you were brought here and immediately intubated. You were already in a comatose state on your arrival, and your organic parameters remained stable for two weeks until you awoke five days ago. Inside your pants pocket, we found only the business card of a woman called... Um, Sophie Walls. It's my wife. Your ex-wife, more precisely, Mr. Hallway. We called her as it seems she's your only contact here in Tokyo. She came to visit you the day after your arrival, but she wasn't able to provide us with enough information except from your name, your address, and your ex-marital status. I knew it. She, she came back. What do you mean? I've been in a coma for two weeks. Now I'm awake and perfectly healthy. Have I some rare disease? Until now, we haven't been able to diagnose any specific disease. So what's the reason to detain me in this hospital? I'm trying to explain to you that there are some disturbing anomalies in your last encephalographs. Anomalies? Which kind of anomalies? The alpha wave frequencies of your brain are the same ones normally present in the REM phase of your sleep. In English? Simply put, it seems that during and after the coma, your brain works as if it were dreaming all the time. I suspect this could be the reason for your bouts of vertigo that you had after your awakening. Okay, but now I'm feeling fine. Indeed, Mr. Hallway. Nevertheless, we need to do some more tests to really understand what's the reason of your coma and make sure you'll suffer no more from such seizures. No, frankly, feeling fine. 
Maybe there's been too much stress, you know. I just want to go home and back to work. I need to get back to my real life. What kind of life are you expecting out well, there, Mr. Holloway? It's going to be better than staying here, Dr. Handlord. Have a nice day. That's landlord. this? Mate, it's Henry. Don't tell me you've forgotten me already. Oh, Henry. What's up? How's the sheep shagging in Cardiff treating you? Still trying to be funny, man. Nice to know four years here hasn't changed you. Well, I was supposed to change many things in my life, except myself. No, I'm not so far from you, mate. I'm in Tokyo on a business trip. And I thought it'd be good to catch up again. You're not wider than this fish. James, talking to you, mate. I thought you liked sushi. What's the point? I thought I'd come to see James Hallway, the better half of the dynamic duo who used to rule the streets of sorrow. Uh, what the fuck's going on? I mean, why did you want to meet me after four years of niche? Not like you haven't been here before. Well, what can I say? It's been stressful. Yeah. I haven't had a time. Nothing more stressful than selling bonds to Nipponese like LSD candies. Uh, what are you talking about? I know you think you're smarter than me. But remember, it was me that covered your ass during that insider trading fiasco. You got caught up in. That's not fair. Look, you know I appreciate what you did for me back then, yeah? Now I'm here to repay the favour. What the fuck are you talking about? You're in trouble, James. Yeah? I know what's been happening in your personal life. Oh, you heard about that? 
Oh. I'm an insider trader, yeah? I mean, I just don't remember if she left me because I started drinking or if I started drinking because she left me. Look, come on, James. Tell me what happened. Two months ago, she's become an assistant of a rich Aussie manager, Mike Morgan. Apparently, they live near Tokyo Bay. I see. Well, look, mate, you gotta get past this, yeah? Already trying to. Oh, how? By drinking? You gotta cut the last tie to your past. When did you turn into fucking Freud? Look, come and work for me. I've got a new company. There's career opportunities. Be like old times. There's no fucking way I'm going back to that country. Calm down, yeah? All right? I'm just trying to help you get out of this mess. I will not leave Tokyo. I still have a good job here. Oh, uh, what position? Ask me fucking stupid questions. You know what kind of job I have. How do you expect to continue living here on a bad conduct discharge? Forgive me, mate. Just trying to help. You would never have tried if she didn't ask you to do. Holy, what the fuck are you doing, chap? Yeah? You, there's, a, there's a line sharp, yeah? Everybody likes having a good time. You're so far over the line, you can't see the line, yeah? You I'm sure you, yeah? I swear, I swear. It's the last time that the train was delayed again. Train to Tokyo subway system, late. There's more chance of, a, of the earth opening up than that happening. I can assure you it will never, it will never happen again. Oh, you're bullshitting, chap. You're bullshitting to a bullshitter, yeah? If you can't be a man in the morning, don't be a man at night. Told you over and over and over again, yeah? Fucking come on, chap. Get your shit. Come with me. Yes. Fucking get out of my office now, chap. I told you. Get the fuck out. Come on. Get yourself out now. Fuck it. programming to report that one minute ago, an earthquake with a magnitude of 5.8 shook the city of Tokyo and surrounding areas.
Sorry for the cloak and dagger, Mr. Hallway. I had to make sure I wasn't recognized. This is a friend's apartment. She's gone for a while. They won't find us so easily. I know perfectly well that my behavior could seem questionable, but I guarantee you that there's an explanation. Maybe it won't sound plausible, but I'm afraid there is a more reasonable one. Christ, I gotta be hallucinating. Unfortunately, this is not a hallucination. You need to leave Tokyo as soon as you can. What the fuck is happening today? Everyone I meet wants me to leave this place. If I'm honest, you didn't exactly fill me with sunshine and honey last time. For some reason, something about you spurred me to go on with my research. In the last few days, I've secretly accessed the hospital archive looking for cases resembling yours. One of my older colleagues recalled some patients presenting symptoms like fainting, fits of vertigo, and hypertrophic perceptions. He was right. I found 15 cases registered under the category of synaptic syndrome in the last decade. Even their EEG anomalies were identical to yours. But the most perplexing fact of all is that, after a three-week stay in hospital, all of them were transferred to private clinics scattered across the country. Someone was spying on me. Not only did they make all those personal files disappear, but they even hacked my hard disk, stealing my recent medical records. Luckily, software has very few secrets for me, so I used a new spyware to trace their IP, and I finally succeeded in accessing their mainframe. Addresses, phone numbers, my social security code, synaptic syndrome, cataplexy, jellinos syndrome. What does it all mean? It's the only file I could copy onto my USB drive before they traced me as well and fried my operating system. That diagnosis refers to a rare sleeping disorder. Sleeping disorder? Maybe I drank too many vodka martinis. Cataplexy is the sudden loss of muscle tone triggered by strong emotions. The body behaves as if it's sleeping, even though the mind's awareness remains intact. The Gelino syndrome involves both cataplexy and narcolepsy. That is when a patient suffers also from extreme fatigue and falls asleep at any time of the day. Tell me, am I really sick of this jelly nose syndrome? I think they were just trying to classify an inexplicable pathology. Your coma and your abnormal EEG, Mr. Hallway, cannot be explained by modern scientific standards. feelings in the last few weeks. I don't know how to describe them. It's like I was dreaming, remaining stuck into reality. It wasn't even like falling asleep or losing the control of my body. Anyway, all this is just theory. But I still can't figure out why they're so keen to catch you. And 
take you abroad like those others. All I know is that you have to leave this country now. Abroad? Who wants to take me abroad? Read the bottom. I have reason to believe this neo campaign tie could be a secret government agency. The government? Do you seriously think that all this stuff is true? What's the point in taking me to Siberia? I know as much as you do. But how can you be so sure that those individuals were chasing me? I saw their photos in the mainframe. Okay, this has to be a joke. You knew that I had problems with alcohol and invented this, this sci-fi crap. I applaud you all. What are you doing? This is a candid, isn't it? Where, where, where are the cameras? We're both in trouble, James. It's the first time you call me James. No. My career profile. My medical registration. My bank accounts. They've stolen our lives. Feels like it's been months since I had one. I was trying to book a last minute flight to London. They're even more battle trained than I expected. Government. We cannot rely on technology anymore. We're like prey in the desert chased by vultures. If I hadn't tried to access the archives, Maybe they would have never hacked my database and found your file. No, Gina. If the government is really involved, sooner or later they would have found me anyway. They called me Gina.
believe it. But it felt so real. Gosh. It wasn't real? I haven't touched a woman in months. It felt like I was healed. I've never experienced something like this before. It was like being at the epicenter of an earthquake. If it's a new symptom, well, maybe it's not a bad disease. It is, James. There's something I haven't told you. What is it? Are you married? It's about your brain. Why? is awaiting you at Meiji Tingo Tori. P.S. We don't work for government but for your life. The catfish? What do you think? I think we have no choice but to go to the shrine. I swear, I'll never drink again until the day I die. How are we supposed to find this catfish? Fishes are supposed to swim in rivers or 
Or C is not in forest. Obviously, it has to be some kind of nickname or code. It's a code name, to be more precise. And I use it mostly during critical missions. My fellows used to call me Jichin Namaz. The catfish? Of course, in the Japanese mythology, Jichin Namaz is a giant catfish causing earthquakes. However, I assure you, uh, I am not the one here involved with a seismic phenomena. And I suppose you are Dr. Jina Lama. How do you know us? Are you a Neo Kempeitai agent? We used to infiltrate the units from time to time. The man who gave you the invitation belongs to my brother. Why did they want to take me to Siberia? I really can't you all you need to know when we are flying off our way from the city. I don't understand why we should trust you. I will explain everything in due time. Now I priority is leaving Tokyo. Okay, great. What's your plan? Running out of the city like gazelles? Let's sit. I will manage to provide you with a shorter version of the story so far. I have worked for more than 10 years at the Tokyo Earthquake Research Institute. During my experimental research phase, I started to notice a link between the quakes and the increase of alpha waves in the urban magnetic field. The seismology community never had a positive attitude toward methods of forecasting seismic events. The Institute warned me many times about publishing my papers in scientific journals. But albeit my colleagues reacted with skepticism and mockery, some are still interested in my articles. They gave me the first secret appointment at this same place 10 years ago. There were activists, teachers, historians, artists, all reunited under the name of Edo. The ancient name of Tokyo. That's what we are taught at school. Instead, they believed it was a name of a prehistoric entity living beneath the city ground since before the time of dinosaurs. It sounds like a fairy tale if you ask me. Did you? Japan folklore had it down to us. Many legends of subterranean creatures like Namazu, a giant catfish. But what they recounted to me didn't sound like a legend. To make a long story short, they asked me to join their elderhood to help them find the hedonist. My studies allow them to confirm their belief in Edo. It seems they're under very specific biological and environmental circumstances. Every civilian could develop the faculty of establishing a feedback control connection with Edo. We discovered that the sudden increase of alpha waves coincides with the exchange of emotional energy between them and Edo. Who recovered at the Hero Hospital? They were Edenists. Which we weren't able to save. We estimate that over the last five centuries, there has been at least 100 of them. But in the last decade, the electromagnetic pollution altered the synaptic waves of the population, increasing the probability of developing what we call Edenism. We suspect now the connection could be triggered even by emotional shocks. It wasn't all a dream. That was a real earthquake. That's how they found us. It was me. That's what you're saying? It was me? There's no actual scientific evidence yet. But we think these quakes could be feedback from brain activity that's specific to those of amygdala and hypothesis. Lesions associated with emotions. Like anxiety, fear, pleasure, and sexual instincts. Egori, Dr. Landlord. 
that the Elderhood has been all but decimated during the last few years. Now we can rely only on a small group able to steal the identities of the agents. We would have found James days ago if many of us hadn't been killed. Killed? Why don't you cooperate? What's their purpose? Why are they taking them to Siberia? We ignore their real plans. Their work is secret, even to the government. I can only say that our aim is to find the Edenists and take them to a safer place where there cannot be a danger to the city. Then, what's the difference between you and them? Tell me, where do you want to take me? I'll never leave this city. Never. Never. Calm down, James. Edo, Edonists, Edohood, rubbish. That's what it is. A mountain of bullshit. I have a decent job. I have a career, a future, my friend. You are losing control, James. Please listen. They are waiting for us. We must go. Go to hell. I'll never follow you. James! I feel he's told us the truth. There can't be any other explanation for what's happening. We have to trust him. You need to trust him. There's no more time. If they are here, then my brother has been killed. We have to go down. Conspirators! Conspirators! I'll heal you, I promise! Heal me? You told me I'm not sick. I've tried. I've tried so many times to tell you since you left the hospital. Tell me why! No, please calm down. Calm down, James. I promise we will heal you. I promise! I promise! You have a terminal brain cancer. 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 Cancer.
Why did you have to tell him like that? He needed to know. But you knew that it could make his mental state worse. We should make him feel comfortable to prevent him from unchaining new cataclysms. James is unique. He's the alpha wavelength is the highest I've ever monitored. What? Are you telling me that he's... The end is over. I'm too tired to keep going on with these deadly rescue missions. I was going to use this set on James, but then I realized it would have been completely useless. He's not like the other Edenist. You didn't explain to us everything you know. Where are we going? We used to bring them to a secret shelter in Hokkaido. Removing them far from Edo was the only system to make the tumor regress and stop the quakes. However, despite our best efforts, after a few months, some of them committed suicide, as if their mind couldn't accept the interruption of the extraterrestrial red link. Only those who totally recovered joined the Edohood. Did you use this subway? Yes, it ends at the of the town. From there, we use cars and boats, but this time, we are going to the opposite direction. This time, our destination is near. This time, I will find the truth. Your mother would have been very proud of you, Gina. It was my fault. No, Gina. Don't reproach yourself for what happened to her. It was a terminal disease. Nothing should be terminal. I'll never let anyone die in that way again. I feel... This is the purpose of my life. Do you really believe in Edo? Oh! 
He's a mystic. He is. He's special. You examine his personal files. His case is absolutely unique. We have to cooperate. He's why we need to discover the truth. We don't work for the truth. I was right. It was just a bedtime story. A very bad one. Don't be, Don't afraid. be afraid. I'll be back, I'll be soon, back darling. soon, darling. Nothing should be terminal. I'll never let anyone die in that way again.